check it. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. For today's review, we are going over Amand Tonka by Ellie Saab. This is an inspired by fragrance, actually, by the House of Genre Perfumes. Now, the reason that I have this little guy here, this is Charlie. This is my guy. He's a corgi mix. Is <laughs> because he absolutely, we have found another favorite of his. He absolutely loves Amand Tonka. <laughs> If uh, you've been on the channel any amount of time, you know that Charlie's favorites are Killian Princess and um, one more by Navitas Perfumes. It's called The Embrace. Those are Charlie's absolute favorites. Uh, but for today, he will not leave the room because he's just in love with this fragrance, I'm telling you. So it's going to be another one of those that we get to cuddle with, that he gets to enjoy. Okay, let's see if he gets out now. <laughs> Bye, Bob. Okay, say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. He just wanted to say hello. And that um, it we have Charlie's approval for today's fragrance. And I'm extremely excited. So we have found another one. <laughs> you guys, the minute that I put on a Montanka here. This is an Inspired by Fragrance. Um, it's not the original. But the minute that I put it on, he just would not. He would not go away. <laughs> oh, okay. And that said, it was just a retouch here before the video. All right, you guys, we are going over, you know, let me go let him out. Give me a second. And we're back. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, we are going over. Let's start again a little bit. Charlie was just excited. He would not get out. He truly loves this fragrance. We're going to have another Cuddle Weather fragrance here for Charlie. Um, so, Genre Perfumes has created an inspired by fragrance called creme de la creme and we're going to review that today if you've not been on the channel recently we've been going over vanilla and gourmand fragrances now these fragrances are good enough to eat and or just beautiful in their own right we have just been classifying the different vanillas that we've been discovering and just we've been going all over the place as far as uh, indie perfume brands, celebrity fragrances, designer, all things, all things we've been going over. For today, we are going to do this inspired by fragrance. So if it's something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. Okay, so this is a bit of a unicorn. Um, I was excited to get a hold of it to get to experience it. We will not be doing a side to side comparison with the original fragrance, which I love to do. But unfortunately, this scent is so hard to get a hold of and it's really expensive. Even the little decants. I mean, expensive. So this is called uh, Essence Number no. 10 Amon Tonka by the house of Ellie, the designer Ellie Saab. And the perfumer is my Mason Francis Kirk Dijon, and it was released in 2017. It's considered an amber fragrance, but I am considering it <laughs> to go more in the gourmand category. And it goes more the gourmand route to my nose, to my senses. And uh, yeah, let's get let's get into this. This is beautiful. I do have a. I will be having a couple of suggestions on what to pair this with, how to enjoy it just to the max. Not to say that I didn't enjoy it completely alone the way that it that the way that it comes. Um, I did pair it with an unscented lotion today, and I'm realizing that I probably need to reorder because look where I'm at. Um, I love to I love to moisturize my skin before I apply my fragrances. And this one right here is by the House of Gloy, and I love their Pumpkin Butter Formula and their Body Emulsion Formula. So this is their Body Emulsion Formula. It's a little lighter than their Pumpkin Butter, butter uh, but it has it's, it's the essence of our Body Emulsion free from dyes and fragrances. So it's completely, you know, fragrant-free, very affordable. The size was nice. I, I just, I love this. <laughs> Highly recommend. I'll go ahead and link it in the description. So speaking of linking in the description, if you've not heard of Genre Perfumes, I'll go ahead and link my current top favorites from the house and also an intro video so that you guys can check. If you've not heard of them, you can uh, get a little history of this house, Genre Perfumes. 
Okay, let's continue. Let's go over the notes. This is an amber fragrance. It has some tonka bean, bitter almond. It also has some sandalwood and some amaris. So when you look at the tonka bean and the almond, you think that is going to be heavy, cloying, way too sweet, way too heavy. The sandalwood grounds this fragrance. The amaris really brightens it up and does not not allow it to go into the heavy cloying route. It just doesn't. Giant Perfumes has, has, has done an amazing job here. And I, even though I have not experienced the original, I truly, truly fell in love with this inspired scent. Now, um, if if you have if you own the original and you want to save your sprays, I I think I would. I mean, I don't know. I've not put my nose on the original, but goodness, is this good? So I think it would fly. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. If if you you know if you have it and you want to compare, then go ahead and fill us in. Let us know how close they got because whoa, <laughs> this is good. Although it is classified as an amber fragrance, it is just leaning gourmand to me, like I'm saying. I get a very, very warm cinnamon roll with some vanilla ice cream on top type feel. Um, you know, and, and it's, but it's very light and airy. You, you're biting into that cinnamon roll and it's, it's not tough, it's not chewy, it's not overly sweet. It's, everything is proportioned correctly and wonderfully, uh, you know, for your own enjoyment. Now that's not all it gives me though, which I found to be very interesting. It gives me an air of, there is maybe like a, a layer of, I want to call it jasmine, but there's definitely like a floral tone somewhere in the background that I'm just, I'm getting it somewhere somehow, but it doesn't completely develop itself. So I'm not sure if that's coming from the Amaris. The Amaris is fresh, piney, balsamic, uh, with a little bit of citrus nuance. I think I already mentioned that. Um, so I, that's not floral per se. Um, everything together is just so nice. And But like I'm saying, there's a tiny bit of, a, of that air, which to me gives it just this level of sophistication. And you could, it's a chameleon, you can add some jasmine to this. You can add some maybe other type of florals, um, you know, or if you if you currently own maybe a floral in your collection that you feel is too indolic for you or too, you know, maybe even headache inducing, I think you could totally round that out with this scent here, with this uh, creme de la creme. Ooh, yes, I think that would be really nice. So, um, I naturally like to explore things when I'm not 100. I've I, I love tonka bean and I've come across it in so many different fragrances and I always say, oh, I thought there was vanilla in this, this tonka bean, you know, it has tonka bean in the base. It's normally in the base notes and so I decided I've never looked it up and let the peoples know. So if you're interested, here we go. <laughs> tonka bean itself, it is a multifaceted note. It's a multifaceted scent. It has in it some nuances of a little bit of tobacco. It has that vanilla tone. It has some gourmand feel, some almond as well, and um, also some woody scents. And this is just talking about the tonka bean. And um, also it can smell like gingerbread, and pistachio so no wonder I'm smelling you know in this primarily tonka and almond scent I'm smelling all of those different nuances it's just so for that reason to me it leans very gourmand um, another fragrance that kind of reminds me of this type realm this scent is um, compared to um, this one Feb Delicios by the House of Dior I do have the original here somewhere, but it's it's way back there and I couldn't find it. I have a travel spray of the Fev, and to me, this is very, very powdery. And the creme de la creme here, the Amantanka, was not, not powdery. I did not get that powdery feel. Also, the spices, I don't, I do pick up spices here. Also by the House of Dior, Vanilla Diorama. This fragrance here, Oh, it also gave me this tone, again, level of sophistication, but at the same time, gourmand feeling. I love Vanilla Diorama for Thanksgiving. I've worn it two Thanksgivings in a row. I just, it just gives me that. 
I don't think of wearing Vanilla Diorama any other time throughout the year at all. I only think of it during the Thanksgiving time. That is not going to be the case with Creme de la Creme because it, this one has, the Vanilla Diorama has these different spices in there that lean more towards, you know, um, those fest festive times. And the creme de la creme, I feel like you can add spices to it, no problem, and, and it can change it more for, for your needs. Definitely, you can layer this and, and change the tones. On its own, I feel it's just good year-round whenever on earth you want to feel this delicious, warm, cinnamon roll air, you know, vibe, um, but sophisticated at the same time. I think that's really hard to do, <laughs> but um, I mean, it, th they've done it here. Another interesting fact that I read about Tonka Bean is it's actually limited by Ifra. Uh, Ifra does the regulations for allergens in fragrances. So whenever you hear about Ifra, like, oh, uh, it's Ifra regulations, they've watered this fragrance down. That's really not what's happening. What's happening is the molecules that is in the fragrance are being limited. So for example, Tonka. It is limited to 1.5% of the final product of the perfume. So the main molecule is the raw material coumarin in tonka bean. And you cannot consume too much of that or put it on your skin because a lot of people are allergic. So you want to diminish the amount of exposure that you get to that allergen. And, um, and Ifra keeps the people safe in that regard. So... There you have it. <laughs> if you haven't heard about tonka bean and coumarin and the fact that it is limited in fragrances, uh, then you heard it here. <laughs> um, yeah, I love to research. I love it. I think it's I think it's important to understand where your fragrances are coming from or what they entail. Um, you know, and it's just all all about the fragrance journey here. All right. So how did this how did this pan out throughout the day? This stayed soft. This stayed sweet throughout the entire wear it was very present I was very present whenever I would move it is still lightly on my skin and very much so on the jacket that I wore on my outer wear I cannot wear it tomorrow and wear another fragrance <laughs> I have to wash it so um it's gonna stick it's gonna stick with you guys and um yeah I got that cinnamon roll wafting in and out all day long no problem um, so yeah, I mean, it goes the distance really strong on the skin for a good 10 hours, which to me is a great wear and then 12 plus on clothes. So amazing, <laughs> amazing. Um, if you would like to know what this would pair good with then stick around because I do have some ideas. I do. First things first, this is the first one that came to mind. I was like, I want to, I have not gotten the chance to play around with this as much as I would have have liked this past year ever since I purchased it but this is downtown deja vu by day three fragrances and it is actually inspired by a fragrance mall a shopping mall in the 90s so if you've not heard of day three fragrances as well I do have I think I've reviewed every single one of their fragrances because they're there I fell in love with all of them uh, this one definitely does take me there it is a modern fragrance inspired by the scent memory of the shopping mall in the 90s and then also um what does it happen here we have apples uh red fruits we have tangy citrus a uh, cool iris we have a sweet rose cinnamon suede amber fresh linen musks and and i can't spray it with my <laughs> i can't ever do that i just have to like dab oh my gosh yes this is beautiful and it, it finishes off with some cotton candy. The cinnamon in here is very light, but it definitely gives you like you're walking past the cinnamon. That is what it's supposed to, you know, be giving you. The little suede tone in here is supposed to smell like you're walking past the leather store. I mean, it's a whole experience in a bottle. <laughs> so what I wanted to do to this with creme de la creme is bring out that cinnamon, you know, tone, the, those cinnamon, um, you know, tones out of here. I just think that would be so, so nice. So next time that I wear a uh, downtown Deja Vu, I know exactly how to mess around or play around with it to be able to give it, you know, a different air, a different tone. Really nice. Oh, that iris gives it that little, like you're at the makeup counter now. It's a great, great scent. I think that creme de la creme is just gonna take it to the next level, honestly. Okay, 
let's keep it gourmand. Let's keep it gourmand. Um, also, that downtown Deja Vu has that level of sophistication as well to match creme de la creme. But now, let's go ahead and uh, taper down the sophistication and bump up this vanilla icing. Let's do that. <laughs> so, um, first one I have here is Tahoda. I have this by the House of Coco Pink. It is their goat milk and honey body lotion. This is a very light, light scent. It It's not... It's not their more, more gourmand, heavy, heavy um, creams like this one. This is their Cocoa Mango Butter. This is Vanilla Bean Noel. It would also go beautifully. Um, so now I'm talking about, oh my gosh, adding vanilla, adding um, just a little more gourmand, you know, cake-like feel as well. We have Angel Food Cake. Add that to creme de la creme and you're going to be smelling so deliciously edible, my goodness. These are definitely not like um, your pairings that you want to wear in the summer, you guys. These are heavy. <laughs> this would be this would give it a heavy feel. This one's called Marshmallow Cake on Mondays. This one has a little bit of those spices that I'm telling you remind me of Thanksgiving or Christmas as well. So marshmallow cake on Mondays, it's got those spices in here and it would go perfect with creme de la creme. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for the, you know, holidays to roll around again because I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be pastry ready. <laughs> I also have uh, Money by the House of Nui Cobalt Designs. I have Money. Oh, I'm sorry. But here we are. This is Money. I love indie perfume brands because they're so, so unique. Oh gosh, yes. I think that this would work beautifully with creme de la creme. This smells to me like the whole show. You know, the pastry uh, desserts are on the table. And then we also have um, some ginger ale or not ginger ale. It's a drink of some sort that is in money. It's everything. It's the whole show, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's the whole banquet. All right, you guys. So that was... Coco Pink, and then I pulled in Nuit Cobalt as well with those gourmand feels. Um, so another one, let's go here. Soft Vanilla Velvet Sugar and Chantilly Cream, wrapped in vanilla. This one gives me, now, now we're leaning a little less like full on gourmand, oh, but it's there, it's good. It smells a little bit caramel. This goes really well with Escapade Gourmand as well by Mason Manaha or your Mellow Vanilla. So I would I would definitely do Mellow Vanilla here with the Creme de la Creme. Genre's own Mellow Vanilla <laughs> with Creme de la Creme. All right, you guys. Now, um, marshmallows. I do have Marshmallow Fluff here by Sugar Milk Company. This one would give it a more of a candied air oh man yes and i think that it would just grab onto that vanilla icing type scent that i'm picking up in in this creme de la creme so we're not making this sophisticated we're not adding to the sophisticated vibes we are adding to that delicious cinnamon roll <laughs> marshmallow fluff yes one of my favorites from the sugar milk company Okay, uh, chocolate, hello, can we put chocolate on cinnamon rolls? I don't see why not. Call me by your name. This one and Chabot, Mason de Parfum Chabot, Le et Cho Chocolat. Yes, Le et Chocolat has this really, really interesting air about it. Again, there's like a, yes, it's chocolate, but it's got something more to it. I fell in love with this. I still, I need a full bottle of Le Chocolat because I did fall in love with this. I think it would mix so well. Either one of these, Call Me By Your Name, also has a different, you know, tone in there. It's not straight up chocolate. It, it's beautiful. This is inspired by um, Gourmand Coquin by the House of Guerlain. So, and this is by Juliana's Perfumes. Love it. Love it. <laughs> oh, all of this with creme de la creme is just going to be gorgeous. Um, so last two that I'll show you guys and then we're done 
is uh, let's let's capitalize on these almonds. I already kind of briefly showed you, but we have Almond Musk Lotion by Genre Perfumes. This is not the official bottle, you guys. This was just a sample that was given to us in one of our orders back in December. It was a present from Genre. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, you could definitely pair Almond Musk, the serum, or your Almond Musk Lotion. The serum, put it on your pulse points, throw on the creme de la creme, and now you've amped up the almond tone in here. Whew, sophistication. And then last but not least, I have this one. It's discontinued, but it's gorgeous by the house of, by the house, <laughs> by Bath and Body Works. <laughs> hey, they have some amazing scents. I have a ton. Um, this is called Dahlia, and it has velvet Dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, and whipped tonka bean it would blend beautifully if you want to accentuate uh, those different tones that it has that I feel there's something in there you know kind of alluring kind of like is there a, a little floral in here somewhere I don't know there might be oh that was it you guys that was enough I really I really did have a lot of fun with this uh, wearing it completely on its own and then just dreaming up you know what I would love to pair it with um, match it with uh, but on its own it's beautiful it's it's amazing the quality here top notch top notch <laughs> I'm very very pleased and if you guys want to check this out it might be available on Etsy but go ahead and check out that intro video to genre perfume so you can find out how to order it as well Ooh, for yourselves <laughs> well thank you so much for tuning into the review I feel like a it took a while to get off the ground here, but once we got going, we got going. Thank you so much for everybody who's tuned into the channel, who's enjoying the reviews, commenting, interacting. I truly appreciate every single one of you. You have a great rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe.